In this exercise, we're given the following starter code. A is a list containing two elements, 1 and 0. All of the following code fragments will cause A to refer to a list containing three elements, 1, 0, and 8. However, some of them will modify A in place, while others will create a new list and assign it to A. Let's take a look at them in order. First, we see that the append operation appends the argument object to the end of the list. So A, append 8, will modify the original list by appending 8 to it. Next, A is assigned A plus a single element list containing 8. To see what's happening here, Let's break this down into steps by using three variables, x, y, and z. Let's assign a list containing 1 and 0 to x, a single element list containing 8 to y, and then assign x plus y to z. Z does indeed contain a list with three elements, 1, 0, and 8, and now, but if we take a look at the values of x and y, we notice that they have not changed. So what's happening in the original expression, a equals a plus 8, is that we first create a new list containing 1, 0, and 8, and we then assign it back to a, overwriting a's previous value. Now let's take a look at the insert method. The insert method takes an index and an object argument and modifies the list by inserting the object at the specified index. len a returns the length of a, which is 2, and so remembering that the first position in a list is 0, a insert len a 8 will insert 8 to the end of the list at index 2. So the insert method modifies the original list A. Lastly, A is assigned a list whose first element is the first element of A, second element, second element of A, and the last element is 8. So to understand what's happening here, again, let's break it down by using three variables, x, y, and z. We rerun, A is, contains two elements. We assign to x the first element of a, y the second element of a, z is now a list whose first element is x, second is y, and third is 8. So we can see that x and y still contain the values of the elements from the original list a, and z now contains a list with three elements. So what's happening in the original expression, A gets assigned a list whose first element is the first element in A, second element is the second element in A, and then 8, is that we first create a new list containing 1, 0, and 8, and then we assign it to A, overwriting A's previous value.